right, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready for five rounds of action to decide the ISKA New York 132 pound weight division title. Fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the black trunks with the gold trim. Represents Sitan Muay Thai with a record of five, one and one from Astoria, New York, Angel Dermatsky. And fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the camo trunks and weighing in at 131. He represents Jersey City kickboxing with a record of three and one, one by way of knockout from Jersey City, Sosa, Mr. Organic, Mejia. A championship belt on the line here on Friday Night Fights. Angel Dermonski on the left side of your screen. Ready to square off against Sosa Mejia, also known as Mr. Organic, a former United States Marine, a combat veteran. That's Sosa Mejia. We thank him for his tremendous service to the United States of America and also his service to the sport of Muay Thai. Always enjoy seeing him in the ring and his opponent as well, Angel Dermonski, out of Queens, New York, by way of Bulgaria. And this is a five-round fight for the ISKA New York 132-pound full rules Muay Thai title. Should be a good one. We're scheduled for five. We'll see if it goes that long. Happy to have Angel back in the ring. He's been on a little bit of a layoff. I think it's been uh, at least a year, but uh, happy to see him in here, jump right in it. Angel's a strong, strong, solid fighter. And, uh, and he's fighting, uh, uh, you know, he's fighting Sosa, who's uh, got a hell of a crowd here tonight. Absolutely, a lot of support for Sosa Mejia, the Jersey City, New Jersey native, fights out of Jersey City kickboxing under Paul Clark. On the other side of the ring, another seats on product. Angel Dermanski with the great duo of Joel Estevez and Aziz Nabi in his corner. So final instructions being doled out by the corners. As we await the start of the action here, again, we're scheduled for five. And you hear the pop from the crowd here at the Broad Street Ballroom, a late delivery of a piece of equipment here to the ring. As Sosa Mejia and Angel Dermanski get set to do battle at the Broad Street Ballroom here. And like you said, James Guccione, a long layoff for that man, Angel Dermanski, so far. We haven't seen him since back in March of 2018 at all. And he hasn't been on this promotion, Friday Night Fight, since May of 2017. Dermanski comes in with a 5-1-1 one -one record, three knockouts to his credit. And the one loss he had was against Calvin Al back in May of 2017 at Lucky Strike Manhattan. Could have gone either way. It was a split decision defeat. Meanwhile, Sosa, Sosa Mejia on the other side. Looking for what would be his fourth win at the Class B level. He's 28 years of age. And I guess if you could infer the protective, the protective gear, not ready to go for Sosa Mejia. So waiting for the athletic supporter here on Friday Night Fights. That's how you build anticipation, James. That's what you do. Keep the crowd on edge. Yeah. That's the key. <laughs> Ariel Agami with James Cuccione. Ringside of the Broad Street Ballroom. Primo Bellarosa waiting to take over in the. Wait, wait, wait. Primo Bellarosa anxiously awaiting to get on the microphone tonight for the latter part of our card, but James Cuccione sticking with me for this championship I'm bout. Tough. Yeah, I'm going to go one more. I'm hey, you one put more in eight fights year. so far, James. Wow. You got to get one title yeah, fight in here. We, all, we saw Kenny Galenti yes, win earlier. Yes. We want to see one more strap change hands. I waited long enough for this guy to find his cup, so I, I want to at least be able to call the fight. That's right. <laughs> James Guccione has put in the time. He deserves to see this one through. Primo, Primo's ready to take over for me. Big shoes I had to fill with Primo. Well, he's got to be careful. He's got you nipping at his heels here. You know, you can't take anything for granted in this business, James. Ariel Agami and James Guccione, a.k.a. Gooch. Looks like the cup is appearing. 
the coach is uh, placing the cup in. And uh, <laughs> well, you've seen a little bit yeah, of everything here yeah, on Friday Night Fights. Yeah, you've seen a little bit of everything tonight. But all right. And now we are ready. Equipment malfunction has been solved. Dermanski on the left, Sosa Mejia on the right. Five rounds for a championship belt at 132 pounds. We're underway. And after the, after the long away, we get to watch this fight now. Let's see this. Sosa Mejia, three and one with one KO. Dermanski, five and one with three KOs. But Dermanski has the long layoff. We Sosa's seen him. a combat veteran. We thank him for his service. Last time we saw Sosa was back in June here on Friday Night Fights, beat Juan Vitas by not by split decision. And before that, a knockout against Leo Castro in February of last year. A little feel out round here in this first two minutes between Dermonski and Mejia. Yeah, both guys are taking it slow, seeing what the other guy has to offer, you know, feeling them out. Mejia loading up on some kicks in the first minute. Both of these guys very experienced. Angel's been on a little bit of a layoff. We'll see if that comes into play at all. But seems to fall right back at home in the ring right now. Halfway through this first round, again, an ISKA championship belt at 132 pounds. Up for grabs here. Vacant title. Mejia sticks in the teeth. Tries the side kick. Yeah, both guys are picking their shots. They're not throwing anything extra. They're, they're, they're feeling it out. It's definitely one of the more patient rounds we've seen tonight so far, James. Two guys who are good at their craft and know that there's a long way to go in this one. Yeah, they're playing it smart. Good sequence for Dermanski there, corralling the kick from Sosa Mejia and dumping him onto the canvas. Oh, deep right at the bell for right Sosa at, Mejia. Right at the bell. Stuck it in for good measure. So a little bit of a chess match developing here in this title fight, James. A little bit of a chess match. They both seem surprised for the bell to ring, you know? That, that two minutes must have, must have went really fast for the two of them. Shows they're both in shape and they're both ready for these five rounds. Not sure how far these two men will take their careers, James, but when you look at these two fighters in Dermanski and Mejia, these are two guys with a, with a look about them, that they, they know what they're doing in the ring. These guys are comfortable in combat, especially, obviously, Sosa having been in combat in reality as a member of the U.S. Marine Corps. Absolutely. Even Angel, he always, even, even when he had an injury and a layoff, you would see him in the gym still in tip-top shape. I know I can't say the same for myself, you know, in between fights, I've quite fallen quite off, you know, and gained a lot of weight and had to worry about cutting it. But not Angel. You, you, you see him in between, not getting ready for a fight, still training in tip-top shape. A little bit of a low blow lands for Dermanski on Mejia, so a stoppage here in round number two. Thank goodness he had that cup, James. Yeah. Yeah, we waited long enough for it. I feel like you can't get any time to rest after you made us wait long enough to get the cup. We gotta utilize it and just keep the fight going. Mejia trying to get those legs extended. Dermanski charges in. So, so wild with the back fist. Yeah, Angel saw that. Angel saw that coming. You know, he's 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 not letting him sneak anything in. Mejia wearing the fatigue trunks. Sosa's claiming a low blow, and uh, no, we're, we're going to make this fight continue. I like to see that. It didn't seem like anything. We're not giving you any time here. Mejia loading up with the leg kick on Dermanski, who's wearing the black trunks with gold trim.
Bulgarian native fights under Joel Estevez and Aziz Nabi at the Seton Gym in Queens. Sosa Mejia, a student of Paul Clark at Jersey City Kickboxing. Like Mejia stuck in the tippy toes there on the corner. Now a low blow the other way, it looks like. Descending into sloppiness here. We're gonna let them fight. We're not gonna, you know, we can't keep stopping the action every time somebody gets somebody gets grazed. And what's happening is they're firing these body kicks basically at the same time, these middle kicks. It's sneaking and looks, underneath. And it's sneaking right underneath, exactly. Round two comes to a close here between Mejia and Dermanski. Good sportsmanship, no hard feelings with the low blows exchange there in the second round. And still a little bit of a feel around again, James. Not, not the firefight I thought I might see here. Yeah, I agree with you. It, it, it was a similar pace to the first round. There wasn't there wasn't much uh, wasn't much fire in either one of them. I like to see, you know, both these guys come out in the third round really firing, you know, you know, like like they want that title. I want to I want to see them come out strong and heavy. We are scheduled for five here at 132 pounds. Dermanski making his first trip into the squared circle since March of 2018. Mejia last fought in June of 2018. So both guys have been out of action for some time. But before that, Dermanski hadn't fought in almost a year between his prior fight before that, so he has had a couple of long layoffs. Stiff teeth for Sosa Mejia to open up the third round. Three of them to be exact, now a fourth. And now a low blow lands again. Mejia looks incredulous as Joel Becker will give Dermonski a moment to recover this time. I don't know what that word means, Ariel, but I'll tell you, that was a solid low blow. <laughs> and, uh, su <laughs> surprise. He looks surprised by the stoppage. <laughs> Did Sosa Mejia. Joe Becker having a war warning for the, for the, the combat veteran here. I'm going to use that one on my wife, and she will be impressed. There you go. Your wife will be incredulous that you <laughs> use the word incredulous. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yes, she will. As intended. Nice. Nice head kick from Angel. Back now these guys here. are picking a pace up a little bit. Let's stop at the low blows and let's fight, you know? Mejia reaching a little bit with that right leg. Yeah, it's a little bit of an awkward style, both, you know. Slip rule there as Dermanski hits the canvas momentarily, pop right back up. Big push kips coming out of uh, Sosa. He's, Nice dump as Dermanski puts Sosa Mejia on his back. And Sosa counters with a nice thudding outside leg kick. Follows it up with a head kick. Back oh. fist, that got in there for Mejia. Did sneak in there. Angel didn't seem phased though. Dermanski stand there, he looked at him, and then he dumped him right over. Head kick for Demonski. Looks like Sosa again went low. Good right hand for Mejia. Both guys really picking their spots here. A lot of, lot of stick and move from both of these fighters. Yeah, I like to see. We're getting, we're getting some bigger, bigger strikes now, though. Now another stoppage. We might have a point taken off here. Indeed. Joel Becker says one point off the cards for Sosa Mejia due to low blows. That could prove very costly in what's been a pretty close fight so far, James. Yeah, I mean, they both were going. I think it was accidental on both parts, but, it, you know, it's definitely, it's definitely happening too much in this fight. Final seconds of round three. A critical point loss for Sosa Mejia as the bell rings. 
And knowing the cerebral fighter that Angel Dermonski is, he'll probably exchange the point taken off for the low blows at this point. Yeah, I mean, it's been a lot of back and forth. Nothing looks intentional. It's just, you know, with the with an awkward style matchup between these two, that's, that's just the way it's been happening. Scheduled for five at this 132 pound level. The ISKA full rules title belt on the line in this weight class between Angel Dramonski and Sosa Mejia. Entering the championship rounds now. Let's see who wants it, you know? Joe Becker calming the overzealous combatants as they try to get an early start on round four and encouraging both men to keep the blows up. Slick move by Dermansky there, but end up eating a back fist from Mejia. And Mejia's running, running right in with power now. now. Now I see him really trying to pick the pace up. Angel's fighting a very smart fight. You know, he's not, he's not taking the bait on any, on any crazy stuff that's coming at him. Big shot by Sosa. Oh boy, we might have a Looks shoulder like a injury. injury. Might have yeah. popped out. Oh, Joel Becker's gonna have to wave this he's fight have off. To wave the fight off. It looks like his oh, shoulder dislocated. No. He's gonna have to have the doctor relocate his shoulder. Oh no, Angel Dermonski dislocating his shoulder. It looks like Angel Dermonski is in a lot of pain here, but oh, that's a real shame. We had a good fight stopped here because of an unexpected injury to Dermonski. Dr. Matt Lamagna into the ring. We know. To check out Angels right in front of us. Sosa Mejia will win this fight by technical knockout. You're gonna have to get that back in the socket. I've, I've been there before, I've popped my shoulder in. I see Dr. Rufus Sadler showing up and I, I feel like he's gonna be the man to put it back in the socket. I look at him in his face, he looks at me and I know he's the man for the job, you know? So Sosa Mejia will capture a championship belt tonight thanks to the injury stoppage as Dr. Sadler. Once that shoulder goes back in the socket, he's going to be fine. He's going to need a little ice and whatnot, but it's, get that in there. So a little bit of a anticlimactic ending to a championship matchup between Sosa Mejia and Angel Dermanski as Angel's right shoulder looks like pops out of place in the midst of the fourth round. Aziz is going to yank on it. Aziz is going to yank right on it. He's been there before. My shoulder used to separate all the time like that. Once you get it back in place, it feels a, feels a world better. Well, Angel Dermanski's night will get a little more painful before it gets better. And Sosa Mejia jacking up the crowd that was cheering him on so vociferously before the fight began. See if Dermanski can make the roll call here for the official announcement of the championship. Strap going to Sosa Mejia should be all right. Sosa Mejia addressing the crowd here from the ring, saying that both of these men are champions, despite the early stoppage of this fight due to injury. So again, apparently, James, you observed there some some discussion here whether to go to the scorecards or to just wave yeah. it off. Yeah, they were they were sorting through it. There's been a lot of conversation on the sidelines. I like to, you know, see what's going on. Sometimes in a situation like this, it ends up being a no contest. But you know, I, I feel like it was a little too far in the fight.
be honest, I'm not 100% on uh, how that's how that's going to play out. Yeah, it's got to go. It's got to go to Sosa, right, the fifth to the fourth the round. round. After 32 seconds into round four, we do have a winner by TKO, and that man is Sosa, Mr. Organic Bahia. Well, James, tough way to end the night for. Angel Germans. Our next fight. No choice. Yeah, that's we'll the way you want to win. That's the way you even want to win a belt. Pitch, I, uh, so let's get that music so, going. So Hang in well, with us. But, you know, maybe they can and run let's that keep back the energy the hot tonight. All right, everybody. Hopefully we'll see a quick recovery from Angel Dermanski, and we can see these two men lock up. Once again, this is Friday Night Fights. They're up, we're not muted. So when I'm done, when I... My name is Brahma Kamara. I'm from Newark, Delaware. My record is three and three. I started with Muay Thai and kickboxing about 10 years ago. I moved down about half a mile from Jack's kickboxing gym, a gym that I actually own and run now. The work ethic, the discipline that it takes to become a champion, to be a fighter, to achieve your goals, to work hard, to push your body both physically and mentally, to apply that to other facets of my life, such as running the business, being a family man, being a member of the community, it really helped me a great amount. Again, about my opponent, I don't know much about him. I don't know who he beat. I don't know who he lost to. But tonight, I just plan on doing what I got to do and bring him the win. My name is Sean Ellis. Um, I'm from Kingston, Jamaica, fighting out of New York City, Anderson's Martial Arts. I don't know much about my opponent. He's just another obstacle like everybody else. You know, you just go in there, have fun, do the work. I've been, tra I've been training nonstop. There was never no fight camp. We there was no special for no special fighter. Uh, tonight, fans are gonna expect energy, constant pace, nothing but fun. It's, it's gonna be high, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be hard. 